101 Power Thoughts for Life The thoughts we think and the words we speak are constantly shaping our world and our experiences. Many of us are in an old habit of negative thinking and do not realize the damage we have inflicted upon ourselves. However, we are never stuck because we can always change our thinking. As we learn to consistently choose positive thoughts, the old negative ones dissolve away. So, as you listen to the following power thoughts, let the affirmations and ideas wash over your consciousness. Your subconscious mind will pick up the ones that are important to you at the moment. These concepts are like fertilizing the soil of your mind. As you absorb them by repetition, you are slowly enriching the very basis of your garden of life. Anything you plant will grow abundantly. I see you vibrant and healthy, surrounded by exquisite beauty, living a life of love and prosperity, filled with joy and laughter. You are on a wonderful pathway of change and growth. Enjoy your trip. My healing is already in process. Your body knows how to heal itself. Get the negative garbage out of the way. Then love your body. Feed it nourishing foods and beverages. Pamper it. Respect it. Create an atmosphere of wellness. Allow yourself to heal. My willingness to forgive begins my healing process. I allow the love from my own heart to wash through me, cleansing and healing every part of my body. I know I am worth healing. I trust my inner wisdom. There is a place within each of us that is totally connected with the infinite wisdom of the universe. In this place lie all the answers to all the questions you will ever ask. Learn to trust your inner self. As I go about my daily affairs, I listen to my own guidance. My intuition is always on my side. I trust it to be there at all times. I am safe. I am willing to forgive. If we sit in a prison of self-righteous resentment, we cannot be free. Even if we don't know exactly how to forgive, we can be willing to forgive. The universe will respond to our willingness and help us find the way. Forgiveness of myself and of others releases me from the past. Forgiveness is the answer to almost every problem. Forgiveness is a gift to myself. I forgive and I set myself free. I am deeply fulfilled by all that I do. We will never have the opportunity to live this day again, so we want to savor every moment. There is richness and fullness in everything we do. Each moment of the day is special to me as I follow my higher instincts and listen to my heart. I am at peace in my world and affairs. I trust the process of life. We are learning how life works. It's like learning your computer. When you first get a computer, you learn the simple basic processes, how to turn it on and off, and how to open and save a document, how to print. And on that level, your computer works wonders for you. And yet, there is so much more that it can do for you when you learn more of its ways. It's the same thing with life. The more we learn how it works, the more wonders it performs for us. There is a rhythm and flow to life, and I am part of it. Life supports me and brings me only good and positive experiences. 
I trust the process of life to bring me my highest good. I have the perfect living space. Our living space is always an outpicturing of our current state of consciousness. If we hate where we live now, then no matter where we move, we will end up hating that too. Bless your current abode with love. Thank it for providing for your needs. Say that you are moving on and that wonderful new people are moving in to take your place. Leave love when you move and you will feel love in the new place. Before I found my current home, I decided that I wanted to buy a house from people who were in love. Of course, that is exactly what I found. My home is filled with the vibration of love. I see myself living in a wonderful place. It fulfills all my needs and desires. It is in a beautiful location, and it is at a price I can easily afford. I can release the past and forgive everyone. We may not want to let go of old hurts, but holding on to them keeps us stuck. When I let go of the past, my present moment becomes richer and fuller. I free myself and everyone in my life from old past hurts. They are free and I am free to move into new glorious experiences. The point of power is always in the present moment. No matter how long you've had a problem, you can begin to change in this moment. For as you change your thinking, your life also changes. The past is over and done and has no power over me. I can begin to be free in this moment. Today's thoughts create my future. I am in charge. I now take my own power back. I am safe and I am free. I am safe, it's only change. What we believe becomes true for us. The more we trust life, the more life is there for us. I cross all bridges with joy and ease. The old unfolds into wonderful new experiences. My life gets better all the time. I am willing to change. We all want life to change and other people to change, but nothing in our world will change until we are willing to make changes in ourselves. We often cling so tightly to habits and beliefs that no longer serve us in a positive way. I am willing to release old negative beliefs. They are only thoughts that stand in my way. My new thoughts are positive and fulfilling. It's only a thought, and a thought can be changed. The most frightening scenarios we can conceive of are only thoughts. We can easily refuse to scare ourselves in this way. You want your thoughts to be your best friends, thoughts that shape your world in a positive way, comforting thoughts, loving thoughts, friendly thoughts, laughing thoughts, thoughts of wisdom and upliftment. I am not limited by any past thinking. I choose my thoughts with care. I constantly have new insights and new ways of looking at my world. I am willing to change and to grow. Every thought I think is creating my future. I am constantly aware of my thoughts. I am like a shepherd with a flock of sheep. And if one goes astray, I lovingly herd it back in line. If I notice an unloving, unkind thought going astray, I quickly and consciously replace it with a kind and loving one. The universe is always listening and responding to my thinking process. I keep the line as clean and clear as I can. The universe totally supports every thought I choose to think and to believe. I have unlimited choices about what I can think. I choose balance, harmony, and peace, and I express it in my life. There is no blame. If we walk a mile in someone else's shoes, then we understand why they behave the way that they do. We were all born beautiful little babies, totally open and trusting of life, with lots of self-worth and self-esteem. 
If we are not that way now, then somewhere along the line, someone taught us otherwise. We can unlearn the negativity. I release the need to blame anyone, including myself. We are all doing the best we can with the understanding, knowledge, and awareness that we have. I let go of all expectations. If we don't have specific expectations, then we cannot be disappointed. But if we love ourselves and know that only good lies before us, then it doesn't matter what comes up because it will be fulfilling. I flow freely and lovingly with life. I love myself. I know that only good awaits me at every turn. I see clearly. The unwillingness to see certain aspects of our lives can cloud our vision. This unwillingness to see is often a form of protection. Optometrists do little to cure eye problems. They only prescribe stronger and stronger glasses. Poor nutrition can also contribute to poor eyesight. I release all the things from my past that cloud my vision. I see the perfection in all of life. I willingly forgive. I breathe love into my vision, and I see with compassion and understanding. My clear insight is reflected in my outer sight. I am safe in the universe, and all life loves and supports me. I carry this affirmation in my wallet. Whenever I reach for money, I see I am safe in the universe, and all life loves and supports me. It is a good reminder of what is really important in my life. I breathe in the fullness and richness of life. I observe with joy as life abundantly supports me and supplies me with more good than I can imagine. My life is a mirror. Every person in my life is a reflection of some part of me. The people I love reflect the loving aspects of myself. The people I dislike reflect those parts of myself that need healing. Every experience in life is an opportunity for growth and healing. The people in my life are really mirrors of me. This affords me the opportunity to grow and to change. I balance my masculine and feminine sides. We all contain masculine and feminine aspects. When these two sides are in balance, then we are whole and complete. The totally macho man is not in touch with the intuitive side of himself, and a weak, wispy, feminine woman is not expressing the strong, intelligent side of herself. We all need both sides. The masculine and feminine parts of me are in perfect balance and harmony. I am at peace, and all is well. Freedom is my divine right. We are put on this planet with total freedom, and we make these choices in our minds. No person, place, or thing can think for us if we do not allow it. We are the only person who thinks in our mind. In our minds, we have total freedom. What we choose to think and believe can change our current circumstances beyond recognition. I am free to think wonderful thoughts. I move beyond past limitations into freedom. I am now becoming all that I am created to be. I release all fears and doubts. Fears and doubts are only delay mechanisms that keep us from having the good we say we want in our lives. So let them go. I now choose to free myself from all destructive fears and doubts. I accept myself and create peace in my mind and heart. I am loved and I am safe. Divine wisdom guides me. Too many of us are unaware that we have within us an inner wisdom that is always on our side. We don't pay attention to our intuition, and then we wonder why life does not work well. 
Learn to listen to your inner voice. You do know exactly what to do. I am guided throughout this day in making right choices. Divine intelligence continuously guides me in the realization of my goals, and I am safe. I love life. Every morning when I wake up, I get to experience another great day, a day I've never lived before. It will have its own special experiences, and I'm glad to be alive. It is my birthright to live fully and freely. I give to life exactly what I want life to give to me. I am glad to be alive. I love life. I love my body. I'm so delighted to live in my wonderful body. It has been given to me to use for the rest of my life, and I cherish it and take loving care of it. My body is precious to me. I love every inch of it, inside and out, that which I see and that which I don't see, every organ and gland, every muscle and bone, every single cell. My body responds to this loving attention by giving me vibrant health and aliveness. I create peacefulness in my mind, and my body reflects this peacefulness as perfect health. I turn every experience into an opportunity. When I experience a problem, and we all have them, I immediately say, "Out of this situation, only good will come. This is easily resolved for the highest good of all concerned. All is well, and I am safe." I repeat this statement over and over. It keeps me calm and allows the universe to find the best solution. I am often amazed to see how quickly the issue can be resolved in a way that benefits everyone. Each problem has a solution. All experiences are opportunities for me to learn and grow, and I am safe. I am at peace. Deep at the center of my being, there is an infinite well of peace. Like a mountain lake, deep and serene, no person, place, or outer chaos can touch me when I am in this space. In this space, I am calm. I think clearly. I receive divine ideas, and I am so peaceful. Divine peace and harmony surround me and dwell in me. I feel tolerance, compassion, and love for all people. Myself included. I am flexible and flowing. Life is a series of changes. Those of us who are rigid and inflexible in our thinking often snap when the winds of change blow. But those of us who are like willow trees bend easily and adapt to the new changes. If we refuse to change, then life passes us by, and we get left behind. Just as a flexible body is more comfortable to be in, so is a flexible mind more comfortable to live in. I am open to the new and changing. Every moment presents a wonderful new opportunity to become more of who I am. I flow with life easily and effortlessly. I now go beyond other people's fears and limitations. I am not my mother's fears and limitations, nor am I my father's fears and limitations. I'm not even my own fears and limitations. These are only false thoughts that have been hanging around in my mind. I can erase them as easily as I can clean a dirty window. When the window of my mind is clean, I can see clearly the negative thoughts for what they are, and I can choose to eliminate them. It is my mind that creates my experiences. I am unlimited in my own ability to create the good in my life. I am worth loving. So many of us were taught conditional love. Therefore, we believe that we need to earn love. We feel that we are not lovable if we don't have a great job or a good relationship or a body like a model. This is nonsense. We do not have to earn the right to breathe. 
It is God-given because we exist. So too is the right to love and be loved. The fact that we exist means that we are worth loving. I do not have to earn love. I am lovable because I exist and others reflect the love I have for myself. My thoughts are creative. I have learned to love my thoughts. They are my best friends. I say out to every negative thought that comes to my mind. No person, place, or thing has any power over me, for I am the only thinker in my mind. I create my own reality and everyone in it. I am at peace with my sexuality. I believe that in many lifetimes I have experienced every sort of sexuality. I have been male and female, heterosexual and homosexual. Sometimes society has approved of my sexuality and sometimes it has not. My sexuality has always been a learning experience for me, as it is in this lifetime. Yet I know that my soul has no sexuality. I rejoice in my sexuality and in my own body. My body is perfect for me this lifetime. I embrace myself with love and compassion. I am at peace with my age. For me, it is always now. Yes, the numbers add up with time, but I feel as young or as old as I choose to feel. There are people at 20 who are ancient, and there are people at 90 who are young. I know I came to this planet to experience every age, and they are all good. Each age unfolds into the next as easily as I allow it to happen. I keep my mind healthy and happy, and my body follows suit. I am at peace with where I am in time, and I look forward to all my precious days. Each age has its own special joys and experiences. I am always the perfect age for where I am in life. The past is over. I cannot go back in time except in my mind. I can choose to replay yesterday if I want, but replaying yesterday takes away precious moments out of today, moments that once gone cannot be retrieved. So I let yesterday be gone, and I turn my total attention to this moment of today. This is my special moment, and I rejoice in it. This is a new day, one that I have never lived before. I stay in the now and enjoy each and every moment. I release all criticism. People who are self-righteous and judgmental have the most self-hatred of all. Because they refuse to change themselves, they point their fingers at everyone else. They see wrong everywhere. Because they are so critical, they attract much to criticize. One of the most important decisions we can make for our own spiritual growth is to totally release all criticism of others and most of all of ourselves. We always have the option of thinking kind thoughts, unkind thoughts, or neutral thoughts. The more kind and loving thoughts we have, the more kindness and love we will attract in our lives. I only give out that which I wish to receive in return. My love and acceptance of others is mirrored to me in every moment. I am willing to let go. I know that each person has divine guidance and wisdom within them, so I do not have to run their lives for them. I am not here to control others. I am here to heal my own life. People come into my life at the right time. We share the time we are meant to have together, and then at the perfect time they leave, and I lovingly let go. I release others to experience whatever is meaningful to them, and I am free to create that which is meaningful to me. I see my parents as tiny children who need love. When we have problems with our parents, we often forget that they too were once innocent babies. 
Who taught them to be hurtful? How can we help them heal their pain? We all need love and healing. I have compassion for my parents' childhoods. I now know I chose them because they were perfect for what I had to learn. I forgive them and set them free, and I set myself free. My home is a peaceful haven. Homes that are loved and appreciated radiate that love. Even if you are there for a short time, be sure you put your love into the rooms. And if you have a garage, put love there too, and keep it neat and tidy. Hang a picture or something attractive, so when you first come home, you enter through beauty. I bless my home with love. I put love in every corner, and my home lovingly responds with warmth and comfort. I am at peace. As I say yes to life, life says yes to me. Life has always said yes to you, even when you were creating negativity. Now that you are aware of this law of life, you can choose to create your positive future. Life mirrors my every thought. As I keep my thoughts positive, life brings me only good experiences. There is plenty for everyone, including me. There is so much food on this planet that we could feed everyone. Yes, there are people who are starving, but it is not the lack of food. It is the lack of love that allows this to happen. There is so much money and so many riches in the world, far more than we know. If it were all distributed equally, within a month or so, those who have money now would have more, and those who are poor now would once again be poor. For wealth has to do with consciousness and deservability. There are billions of people on this planet, yet you will hear people tell you that they are lonely. If we don't reach out, love cannot find us. So as I affirm my self-worth and my deservability, that which I need comes to me in the perfect time-space availability. The ocean of life is lavish with its abundance. All my needs and desires are met before I even ask. My good comes from everywhere and everyone and everything. All is well in my world. My life has always worked perfectly, only I did not know it. I didn't realize that every negative event in my world was life reflecting back to me my belief system. Now that I am aware, I can consciously program my thinking process to have a life that works on all levels. Everything in my life works now and forevermore. My work is deeply fulfilling. When we learn to love what we do, then life sees to it that we will always have interesting creative occupations. When you are ready emotionally and mentally for the next step in life, life will move you to it. Give your best to life today. I do what I love and love what I do. I know that I am always working in the right place with just the right people and that I learn all of the valuable lessons my soul needs to learn. Life supports me. When you follow the laws of life, life will support you abundantly. Life created me to be fulfilled. I trust life and life is always there at every turn. I am safe. My future is glorious. Our futures will always represent our current thoughts. What you are thinking and saying right now is creating your future. So think glorious thoughts and you will have a glorious future. I now live in limitless love, light and joy. All is well in my world. I open new doors to life. As I walk down the corridor of life, there are doors on every side. Each one opens to a new experience. The more I clear the negative thought patterns from my mind, the more I find doors that open to only good experiences. 
my clarity of thinking brings to me the best that life has to offer. I rejoice in what I have, and I know fresh new experiences are always ahead of me. I greet the new with open arms. I trust life to be wonderful. I claim my own power and I lovingly create my own reality. No one can do it for you. Only you can make your own declarations in your mind. If you give your power to others, then you have none. When you claim your power, it is yours. Use it wisely. I ask for more understanding so that I may knowingly and lovingly shape my world and my experiences. I now create a wonderful new job. Bless your current job with love and release it with love to the next person who takes your place, knowing that you are moving into a new level of life. Keep your affirmations for the new position clear and positive and know that you deserve the best. I am totally open and receptive to a wonderful new position using my creative talents and abilities, working with and for people I love in a wonderful location and earning good money. Everything I touch is a success. We always have the option of poverty thinking or prosperity thinking. When we think thoughts of lack and limitation, then that is what we experience. There is no way you can be prosperous if your thinking is impoverished. To be successful, you need to constantly think thoughts of prosperity and abundance. I now establish a new awareness of success. I know I can be as successful as I make my mind up to be. I move into the winning circle. Golden opportunities are everywhere for me. Prosperity of every kind is drawn to me. I am open and receptive to new avenues of income. When we are open and receptive, life will find many ways to bring income to us. As we know and affirm that we deserve all good, the infinite source will open new channels. We often limit our own good by believing in fixed income and other closed ideas. Opening our consciousness opens the banks of heaven. I now receive my good from expected and unexpected sources. I am an unlimited being accepting from an unlimited source in an unlimited way. I am blessed beyond my fondest dreams. I deserve the best and I accept the best now. The only thing that keeps us from having the good in our life is that we don't believe we deserve it. Somewhere in childhood we learned that we didn't deserve and we believed it. Now it is time to release that belief. I am mentally and emotionally equipped to enjoy a prosperous and loving life. It is my birthright to deserve all good. I claim my good now. Life is simple and easy. The laws of life are simple, far too simple for many people who want to struggle and complicate things. What you give out comes back to you. What you believe about yourself and about life becomes true for you. It is that simple. All I need to know at any given moment is revealed to me. I trust myself and I trust life and all is well.
I am totally adequate for all situations. Know that you are far more than you think you are. You are divinely protected. You are connected with infinite wisdom. You are never alone. You have everything you need. Of course you are adequate for all situations. I am one with the power and wisdom of the universe. I claim this power and it is easy for me to stand up for myself. I listen with love to my body's messages. At the first sign of the slightest dis-ease in your body, instead of giving money to the pharmaceutical companies, sit down, close your eyes, take three deep breaths and go within, asking, what is it I need to know? Because your body is trying to tell you something. If you rush to the medicine cabinet, you are in effect telling your body to shut up. Please listen to your body. It loves you. My body is always working toward optimum health. My body wants to be whole and healthy. I cooperate and become healthy, whole, and complete. I express my creativity. Everyone has unique creativity within them. It is an act of loving ourselves to take the time to express this creativity no matter what it is. If we believe we are too busy to allow creative time, then we are missing a very fulfilling part of ourselves. My unique creative talents and abilities flow through me and are expressed in deeply satisfying ways. My creativity is always in demand. I am in the process of positive change. We are always in the process of change. I used to make many negative changes. Now that I've learned to release old, outworn patterns, my changes are positive. I am unfolding in fulfilling ways. Only good can come to me. I now express health, happiness, prosperity, and peace of mind. I accept my uniqueness. No two snowflakes are alike and no two daisies. Each person is a rare gem with unique talents and abilities. We limit ourselves when we try to be like someone else. Rejoice in your uniqueness. There is no competition and no comparison, for we are all different and meant to be that way. I am special and wonderful. I love myself. All my relationships are harmonious. I see only harmony around me at all times. I willingly contribute to the harmony I desire. My life is a joy. When we create harmony in our minds and hearts, we will find it in our lives. The inner creates the outer, always. It is safe to look within. We often are frightened to look within because we think that we will find this terrible being. But in spite of what they might have told us, what we will find is a beautiful child that longs for our love. As I move through the layers of other people's opinions and beliefs, I see within myself a magnificent being, wise and beautiful. I love what I see in me. I experience love wherever I go. What we give out returns to us, multiplied and folded over. The best way to get love is to give love. Love can mean acceptance and support, comfort and compassion, kindness and gentleness. I certainly want to live in a world with these qualities. Love is everywhere and I am loving and lovable. Loving people fill my life and I find myself easily expressing love to others. Loving others is easy when I love and accept myself. We can't really love others till we love ourselves. Otherwise, what we call love is really codependency or addiction or neediness. No one can ever love you enough if you don't love yourself. You will always be saying things like, do you really love me? 
and there is no way you could satisfy another who does not love him or herself. There will be pouty silences and jealousy, so learn to love yourself and you will have a loving life. My heart is open, I allow my love to flow freely. I love myself, I love others, and others love me. I am beautiful and everybody loves me. I use this affirmation a lot when I'm walking down a city street, and even though they don't hear it, it's wonderful to see how many people respond to me with smiles. Try it. This affirmation can really make your day when you're out and about. I radiate acceptance and I am deeply loved by others. Love surrounds me and protects me. I love and approve of myself. Out of self-approval comes only good. We're not talking about vanity or pride, for those are just expressions of fear. Loving yourself means cherishing and appreciating the miracle that you are. You do have value and self-worth. Love being you. I appreciate all that I do. I am good enough just as I am. I speak up for myself. I ask for what I want. I claim my power. I am a decisive person. It is really safe to make decisions. Make them with authority. If a decision turns out to be a poor one, then make another decision. Learn to turn within and do a short meditation when you need a solution. You have all the answers within you. Practice going within often, and you will have a good, solid connection with your inner wisdom. I trust my inner wisdom, and I make decisions with ease. I am always safe when I travel. You create your consciousness of safety, and of course it will go with you everywhere, no matter what form of transportation you are using. No matter what form of transportation I choose, I am safe and secure. My level of understanding is constantly growing. When we understand more of life, we experience more of life's wonders. People who have a limited life have a very limited understanding. They see things in black and white, yes or no, and they are usually motivated by fear or guilt. Allow your understanding to grow, and you will have a larger, more compassionate view of life. Each day I ask my higher self for the ability to deepen my understanding of life and to move me beyond judgment and prejudice. I now accept the perfect mate. Write down all the qualities you want in your ideal mate and then check to make sure that you are expressing those qualities too. You may need to make some inner changes before the right person can come in. Divine love now leads me to and maintains me in a loving relationship with my perfect mate. Security is mine now and forevermore. Our belief systems are always evident in our experiences. As we create safety and security in our minds, then we will find it in our world. Positive affirmations create a positive life. All that I have and all that I am is safe and secure. I live and move in a safe and secure world. World healing is in process now. Each one of us constantly contributes to world chaos or world peace. Every unkind, unloving, negative, fearful, judgmental, prejudicial thought contributes to the atmosphere that produces earthquakes, floods, drought, war, and other disasters. On the other hand, every loving, kind, peaceful, supportive, helpful thought contributes to the atmosphere that produces wellness and healing for all. What kind of a world do you want to contribute to? Every day I visualize our world as peaceful, whole, and healed. I see each person being well-fed, clothed, and housed. 
I bless our government with love. Our belief in a negative government produces just that. Do some positive affirmations for our government every day. I affirm that each person in our government is loving, honest, honorable, and truly working for the betterment of all people. I love my family. I have had hundreds of estranged families be lovingly reunited by doing this affirmation daily for three or four months. When we are estranged from our families, we often send a lot of negative energy back and forth. This affirmation stops that and opens the space for loving feelings to surface. I have a loving, harmonious, joyous, healthy family, and we all have excellent communication. My children are divinely protected. If we are fearful for our children, they often give us things to worry about. We want our children to feel free and secure in the mental atmosphere we surround them with. So always do positive affirmations for your children when you are apart. Divine wisdom resides within each of my children and they are joyous, safe, and secure wherever they go. I love all God's creatures, animals great and small. Every creature, every insect, bird, and fish has its own special place in life. They are just as important as we are. I communicate easily and lovingly with all living beings, and I know that they deserve our love and protection. I love experiencing my baby's birth. In the nine months before birth, talk and communicate with your baby. Prepare for the birthing experience so that it is an easy, loving experience for both of you. Describe the birth process to your baby in the most positive ways so that you can both cooperate with each other in supportive ways. Unborn children love to hear their mother sing to them, and they love music too. The miracle of birth is a normal and natural process, and I go through it easily, effortlessly, and lovingly. I love my baby. I believe that we choose our parents, and we choose our children on a soul level. Our children have come to be our teachers. There is much we can learn from them, but most important is the love that can be shared. My baby and I have a joyous, loving, peaceful relationship. We are a happy family. My body is flexible. Keeping my mind flexible and agile is reflected in the flexibility of my body. The only thing that keeps us rigid is fear. When we truly know that we are divinely protected and safe, then we can relax and just flow with the effortlessness of life. Be sure to include dance time in your schedule. Healing energy constantly flows through every organ and joint and cell. I move easily and effortlessly. I am aware. Several times a day just stop and say to yourself, I am aware. Then take a deep breath and notice how much more you become aware of. There is always more to experience. I constantly increase my awareness of myself, my body, and my life. Awareness gives me the power to be in charge. I love to exercise. I expect to live a long time, and I want to run and dance and be flexible until my last day. My bones get stronger when I exercise and I have found lots of different ways to enjoy movement of all kinds. Movement keeps us moving in life. Exercise helps to keep me young and healthy. My muscles love to move. I am an alive person. Prosperity is my divine right. Most people get angry when they first hear that money is the easiest thing to demonstrate, but it is true. But we must release our negative reactions to it and our negative beliefs about it first. 
It is easier to teach a workshop on sexuality than on money. People get incredibly angry when their beliefs about money are challenged. The people who want money the most fight the hardest to hold on to the limiting patterns. What is your negative belief about money that is keeping you from having some? I deserve and willingly accept an abundance of prosperity flowing through my life. I give and receive joyously and lovingly. I am connected with divine wisdom. There is always an answer to every question, a solution to every problem. We are never lost, lonely, or abandoned in life, for we have this infinite wisdom and guidance constantly with us. Learn to trust it, and you will feel safe all your life. Daily I go within to connect with all the wisdom of the universe. I am constantly being led and guided in ways that are for my highest good and greatest joy. Today I look at life with fresh eyes. When out-of-town people come to visit, they always help me to see my everyday world through their new eyes. We think we have seen it all, and yet we miss so much that is immediately around us. In my morning meditations, I ask to see more and to understand more this day. My world is infinitely larger than I know. I am willing to see life in a new and different way, to notice things that I have not noticed before. A new world awaits my new vision. I am in step with today. Within each and every one of us is the intelligence to understand and use all the new and exciting electronic wonders that are filling our lives. And if we do have difficulty programming our VCR or computer, all we have to do is ask a child. All the children of today are electronically literate, as it has been said before, and the little children shall lead them. I am open and receptive to the new in life. I am willing to understand VCRs and computers and other wonderful electronic devices. I maintain my perfect weight. Junk foods and overly rich foods contribute to our ill health and overweight conditions. When we go for health and drop red meat and dairy and sugar and fat from our menus, then the body automatically goes to and settles at its perfect weight. Toxic bodies are fat. Healthy bodies are at the perfect weight. As we release toxic thoughts from our minds, our bodies respond by creating wellness and beauty. My mind and my body are balanced and in tune. I achieve and maintain my perfect weight easily and effortlessly. I am in tip-top shape. There was a time when we all ate natural healthy foods. Today we have to pick our way between the junk and processed non-foods to find simple healthy food. I have found that the simpler I eat, the healthier I am. Give your body the foods that grow and you will grow. I take loving care of my body, I eat healthful foods, I drink healthful beverages. My body responds by being in tip-top shape all the time. My animals are healthy and happy. I refuse to feed my six wonderful animals any junk or canned foods. Their bodies are as important as mine. We all take good care of ourselves. I lovingly communicate with my animals, and they let me know how I can make them happy, both mentally and physically. We live life joyfully together. I am in harmony with all of life. I have a natural green thumb. I love the earth, and the earth loves me. I do everything I can to make it rich and productive. Every plant I lovingly touch responds by growing forth in all its glory. House plants are happy, flowers are vibrantly beautiful, fruits and vegetables are abundant and delicious. I am in harmony with nature. This is a day of great healing. 
The mind that contributes to creating an illness is the same mind that can create wellness. The cells in our body are constantly responding to the mental atmosphere within us. Like people, they do their best work in a happy, loving environment. So fill your life with joy and you will be happy and healthy. I connect with the healing energies of the universe to heal myself and all those around me who are ready to be healed. I know that my mind is a powerful healing tool. I love and respect the elders in my life. The way we treat elders now is the way we will be treated when we become older. I believe that our later years can become our treasure years and that we can all become elders of excellence, living our lives in rich and full ways and contributing to the wellness of our society. I treat the elders in my life with the utmost love and respect, for I know that they are a wise and wonderful source of knowledge, experience, and truth. My vehicle is a safe haven for me. I always send love to angry drivers on the road. I'm aware that they don't know what they're doing to themselves. Anger creates angry situations. A long time ago, I gave up being angry at poor drivers. I'm not going to ruin my day because you do not know how to drive. I bless my car with love and send love ahead of me on the road. Because I do this, I seldom have angry drivers around me. They are off causing trouble for other angry drivers. I lovingly share the road and almost always arrive right on time no matter what the traffic is. We take our consciousness everywhere. Where you go, your mind goes, and it attracts like experiences. When I am driving my vehicle, I am completely safe, relaxed, and comfortable. I bless the other drivers on the road with love. Music enriches my life. We all dance to a different drummer and are fulfilled by different kinds of music. What is uplifting to one person can be a dreadful noise to another. I have a friend who plays meditation music for her trees and it drives her neighbors nuts. I fill my life with harmonious and uplifting music that enriches my body and soul. Creative influences surround and inspire me. I know how to quiet my thoughts. Time alone and inner time gives us the chance to renew our spirits, and inner time gives us the guidance we need. I deserve rest and quiet when I need it and I create a space in my life where I can go to get what I need. I am at peace with my solitude. My appearance reflects my love of self. Our clothes, our cars, and our homes reflect the way we feel about ourselves. A scattered mind will produce scattered objects everywhere. As we bring peace and harmony to our thoughts, our appearance and all our possessions automatically become harmonious and pleasing. I groom myself well every morning and wear clothes that reflect my appreciation and love of life. I am beautiful inside and out. I have all the time in the world. Time stretches when I need more and shrinks when I need less. Time is my servant and I use it wisely. Here and now, in this moment, all is well. I have plenty of time for each task that I need to perform today. I am a powerful person because I choose to live in the present moment. I give myself a vacation from work. We do our best work when we give ourselves short periods of rest. A five-minute break every two hours sharpens our minds. So, too, vacation time benefits the mind and body. The workaholics who never rest or play become very intense people. They are seldom fun to be around. The child in us needs to play. If our inner child is not happy, then neither are we. 
I plan vacations for myself in order to rest my mind and body. I stay within my budget and always have a wonderful time. I return to work relaxed and refreshed. Children love me. We need contact with all the generations. Senior condos and retirement communities lack the laughter of children. Connecting with children keeps us young at heart. The little child in us loves to play with children. Children love me and they feel safe around me. I let them come and go freely. My adult self feels appreciated and inspired by children. My dreams are a source of wisdom. I always go to sleep with loving thoughts to lay the groundwork for the work I do in my dreams. Loving thoughts bring loving answers. I know that many of the questions I have about life can be answered as I sleep. I clearly remember my dreams when I wake up each morning. I surround myself with positive people. When we allow negative people to fill our lives, it becomes much harder to stay positive ourselves. So don't allow yourself to be dragged down with other people's negative thinking. Choose your friends with care. My friends and relatives exude love and positive energy, and I return these feelings. I know that I may have to release people from my life who are not supportive of me. I manage my finances with love. Every bill you pay is evidence that someone trusted in your ability to earn the money. So sprinkle love in all your financial transactions, including the IRS. Think of taxes as paying rent to the country. I write my checks and pay my bills with gratitude and love. I always have enough money in my bank account to take care of the necessities and luxuries in my life. I love my inner child. Daily connection with our inner child, the little one you once were, contributes to our wellness. At least once a week, take your inner child by the hand and spend some time with it. Do some special things together, things you loved to do when you were little. The child in me knows how to play and love and wonder. As I support this part of me, it opens the door to my heart and my life is enriched. I ask for help when I need it. Ask and ye shall receive. The universe lies in smiling repose, waiting for me to ask. It is easy for me to ask for help when I need it. I feel safe in the midst of change, knowing that change is a natural law of life. I am open to the love and support of others. Holidays are a time of love and joy. Gifts are wonderful to exchange, but even greater is the love you can share with everyone you meet. Celebrating holidays with my family and friends is always enjoyable. We always make time for laughter and express gratitude for the many blessings of life. I am patient and kind with everyone I encounter each day. Try thanking everyone you meet today for something. You will be delighted with how much it means to them. You will receive more than you give. I beam kind and loving thoughts to store clerks, restaurant workers, law enforcement personnel, and all others whom I encounter during the day. All is well in my world. I am an empathetic friend. When a friend comes to you with a problem, it doesn't necessarily mean they want you to fix it. Probably all they want is a sympathetic ear. A good listener is a valuable friend. I am in tune with other people's thoughts and emotions. I give advice and support to my friends when they ask for it and just listen with love when that is appropriate. My planet is important to me. Loving the earth is something we can all do. Our beautiful earth provides everything we need and we need to honor her at all times. 
Saying a small prayer for the earth every day is a loving thing to do. The health of this planet is very important. If we do not take care of our planet, where will we live? I bless this planet with love. I nourish the vegetation. I am kind to the creatures. I keep the air clean. I eat natural food and use natural products. I am deeply grateful for and appreciative of being alive. I contribute to harmony, wholeness, and healing. I know peace begins with me. I love my life. I love my world. Thank you for letting me share some ideas with you. This is Louise Hay, and I love you.